Here at ASCO 2013, joining us now is Dr. G.S. Bhattacharya. He is a medical oncologist in charge of oncology at Fortis Hospital in Calcutta, India. Thanks for joining us, sir. My pleasure. You are the global ambassador of the Metronomic Global Health Initiative. This would explain your interest in the subject of the poster you presented here at ASCO on metronomic dosing in triple negative breast cancer. Can you give us an, an overview on what this research is? Yes, sure. The point is like this, that when we are looking at the concept of treating a heavily pretreated metastatic breast cancer, mostly if you're talking of a subgroup like triple negative, you're looking at something dark, looking at a term which has no light because it's like a death sentence. Death sentence from two points of view that even if you do something with the drugs and help prolong the quality of a patient's life, you're going to be affecting the quality. And then there's going to be the big toxicity of affording the drugs, etc. So this was a thought process which we went through is that suppose we were using a drug commonly used but at much lower doses, very frequently on a daily basis, you could modify the drug's mechanism of action, make it more effective, make it more safer and with lesser toxicity. And you may be able to actually give patients the relief and allow the patient to live longer. Now this research starts off basically at a point with me and my colleagues like Dr. Bhushan Rana Day, and other people who joined me, Dr. J.K. Singh, Dr. Manisha, Dr. Purvesh Parikh, Dr. Govind Babu, is that we had a logic that if a drug like capecitabine could be made more targeted so that it would be more inside the tumor cells and have lesser side effect, and if it was metronomic dosing, then it would be at a much lower dose, much safer, and would also be saving on money. So we used with that a drug called gifitinib, which has been an EGFR TKI inhibitor, commonly used in lung cancer, with some use also in head and neck cancer. Now triple negative breast cancer is one breast cancer which in a developing country like from where I come, forms 40% of breast cancers. And why are they called triple negative? They're called triple negative because they don't express the hormonal receptors of ERPR, do not express the EGFR, I mean rather, oh, sorry, the HER2 new receptor. But there is 50% of these triple negatives who express what is called the EGFR receptor. And we also see that about there are 12% of these patients who have mutated receptors of EGFR in breast cancer. Now based on this, we said that if we were using gifitinib, and if we're using gifitinib in such a manner that even we were giving capecitabine, you could make capecitabine a more targeted drug. At the same time, gifitinib will also be acting on its EGFR pathway doing what was cutting off the pathway for cancer cell expressions and prolongations and angiogenesis, etc. Now, when we add gifitinib, the two major enzymes that modulate the role of capecitabine inside the cell called TS and TP are actually enhanced 40 times. Now, that increases the use of this drug there. So, we did this study. We started in our about 80 art patients and we had about 75 in lab evaluable patients. They were put into two groups. They were heavily pretreated with either anthracyclines and with your taxanes. And when they were and they had majorly more than two visceral sites of metastasis, relatively in good condition, but with a very poor prognosis because of the disease type and character. We put these patients up into two groups that one, they were given either capecitabine, which is an accepted standard care for such patients, and combining them with gefantinib. And lo, what we saw was something unique. We saw that there were patients not only responded in terms of chemotherapy response rates, but what we saw was the most important thing is a five months overall survival benefit in those patients who took gefantinib and capecitabine, which is better than the most commonly known chemotherapeutic agents in this situation. We also found out something that these patients, none of them had any of the safety concerns which we see with capecitabine. Saying that a metronomic dosing of capecitabine combined with gefatinib makes it a very safe alternative. Looking at the pharmacoeconomic point of view, such a combination of treatment 
with now the Gifatinib is available as a generic brand and Capesitabines are available as generic brands, every month would come an Indian rupee term close to somewhere around about 9,000 rupees, which works out to be something roughly around about $20. Now that's something, a $20 a month would be the treatment, which is going to be affordable all over. So that we think is a major breakthrough of the concept of metronomic chemotherapy combined with the targeted chemotherapy to make it more targeted and suitable. What are other implications for breast cancer patients? The implications of breast cancer patients would be looked at globally, basically. Triple negative is a common disease, basically, in developing countries. Sub-Saharan Africa, Southeast Asia, Latin America. So when we look at it, and out here, 40% of all patients tend to be triple negative breast cancers, and they come from a lower socioeconomic status. And that makes where, if you're used having cheaper treatments, you can go out and treat. Professor David Kerr, who has been my mentor, will often have a statement treating cancer a dollar a day. So we can tell him that, you know, we have now for triple negative cancers, at least treating dollar a day viable very much. What will you do next with this work? But next with this work, I'm going to try and see the, whether the pharmaceutical companies allow us to actually do a phase three study and if anybody is ready to actually give us some drugs for this in our patients try it somewhere else. This study basically has been performed with a lot of support from an Indian company called Panacea Biotech, which provided the drugs free of costs. And we did the research with limited financial conditions. So if they are agreeable, we can take this forward and look at a phase three study. And it doesn't need to be a very big study. It requires about uh, 600 patients and the total study cost in terms of dollars would be somewhere around about $180,000. So that's not small money if you're looking in terms from a developing country. Thanks for joining us, sir. We appreciate it. My pleasure. Sharing his data is Dr. G. S. Bhattacharya, medical oncologist in charge of oncology at Fortis Hospital in Calcutta, India.